Hey everyone, this is Nemo, and in today's video, we will see how to use product packs in PrestaShop. So first of all, what are they? Well, it's pretty easy to tell. As the name suggests, they are groups of products packed and sold together. So um, pretend you sell food. You might want to group a few products together and sell them as a bundle, like uh, I don't know, different bottles of wine. Or uh, games. You might want to sell a console together with a game as a promotional offer. So uh, possibilities are infinite, really. Now, let's see how they work. First of all, you should already have the products you wish to include in the pack. So you must create them separately first. Uh, you can even make a pack with different variants of the same products. So for my example, I will use the Almighty Blouse product in blue and orange combinations. So in the back office, I am in the catalog products and I will add a new product. Now in the very first tab called information, you can see you can choose the product type and I will choose now pack of existing products. Then I will search for blouse and this image is broken since I didn't add any to this product. Uh, to this product, I fiddled with it a little bit. So first I add blouse color blue, one unit, add this product. And then blouse again, orange, add. Now please notice that quantities are fixed. So the user will not be able to change quantities for products contained in the pack. This I know is a very strict limitation and most merchants give up using packs because of this, uh, usually in favor of third party modules. And anyway, if you're okay with it, go ahead and um, give this product a name, so uh, some kind of blouse pack, let's say, and then a price, so uh, no, 125 euros. Save and stay. Done. Now, how will it work for quantities? Well, if I tap to it, you can see um, options are different from standard products. So I have a new section called pack quantities here where I can choose how I want it to behave. I can give the pack uh, a defined quantity below here and I can choose what to decrement uh, when the pack is bought, is purchased. So I can decrement the pack, the products in the pack or both. And the default is decrement the pack only. Now I will, I will use the default option, but if you want single products quantities to be uh, decremented, you can choose this option here. Okay, so I will okay have uh, 12 units and then I will choose a category, which is not home, maybe women, and same as again. All right, so let me check a preview of this product. Okay, it has no image, no anything, but uh, you can see uh, the pack content tab popped up at the bottom of the product page. And I know, I realized there are two identical image, images because I didn't assign a specific image for each combination, but usually they are. So no worries about this. Now, uh, something not to forget, single products can still be accessed. And um, in this case, I disabled my blouse product, but um, usually people will still be able to buy these products or combinations singularly. So if you do not wish uh, to let people do this, uh, do as I did. So go ahead and reach the catalog products page, choose your um, packed products, like in my case, blouse, and make sure it is or they are disabled and not enabled. So this um, is actually a bit misleading since you can click there. So people might think, oh wait, uh, it's available, but even not. Um, what I suggest doing in this case, if you wish to uh, deny uh, this option, so you do not want people to buy single products, you should really think about uh, modifying the template product.tpl inside the theme folder. Uh, maybe this might be a good subject for another tutorial. 
Okay, this is everything for today's video and if you're looking for the best hosting for your shop, I recommend checking out a2hosting.com where you can find the best value packages to host your PrestaShop website. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.